Hey, and a very good evening to every one of you beautiful people sitting at home. And welcome to Coffee and Comedy with myself, Rizal And I'm super, super, super excited to be hosting you guys again and to be on your TV screens again. Catch us on our social media pages. On Facebook, we are Coffee and Comedy with Rizal Fools. And on Instagram, we are at Coffee underscore Comedy. Natilek also on YouTube as well. So make sure if you do want to follow the show on there, catch some of your favorite guests, performances, whatever the case may be, that is where it is. So make sure you do subscribe on the channel. Now, as you guys know, what we do like to do, to do rather is to sit with a lot of creatives, comedians, and everything in the entertainment industry. And tonight's episode is solely dedicated to one of those people who is always out there making sure that whether it's a comedy show, music festival, whatever is being promoted. And that guy is going by the name of Baidu Adams. Now, he has been for many years known as the Cape Flats, Cape Town, and South Africa's number one promoter. But he never had a billboard with him. Or he thought himself, I can't look me in a sweater, or he get a sweater on tight to see for him mentally. So when he went overseas, he then saw someone walking with the Union Jack or the American flag. And that's when Cape Town native or the Cape Flats native has been born. So he is going to be online chatting to us so we can find out more about that. Other than that, on our social media pages is where things are happening. And that is what we always like to check out, what you guys at home what are you doing? What doing, Jay? And so that brought us to our trending videos for the week. So let's see what it is that you guys have been up to. And then we're going to take a quick brief. If you laugh, you go to hell. I've got the muscles. The ladies love me. I've got a big willy. What more could they want? And I've got, yeah, I've got guns. That's why I'm, that's why I'm gangster. Yo, swag. Welcome back from the ad break. You are still watching Coffee and Comedy with myself, Rizal Forbes. And yeah, today is all about finding the people who's out there from Cape Town. Where in South Africa or in the world are you? And such a gentleman we are chatting to all the way from PE, also known as Tabecha. Uh, and he's there. I don't know what he's doing there, but I know that um, the Cape Town Merchants has been moving. Although he's a clothing merchant, I'm talking about Baidu Adams. 
who is the founder of Cape Flats Native. And what they do is they basically a clothing brand or a, a brand that's out there to inspire people and to kind of brand not just Cape Town but your inner your inner Cape Townian and things like that. So we are chatting to Beidu online. Beidu, how are you doing? How's PE treating you? Mr. Forbes, thank you very much for asking. I'm well. It is all right. It's alhamdulillah. Can't complain. Thank you for asking. Uh, PE or Kabeha is treating me well. It's been nine years now. I've been here for nine years. I was uh, fortunate enough to fly home at least once a month. Um, but yeah, it's been good. It's been very good. Thank you. Yes, man. So tell us a little bit about your clothing brand. Tell us about the clothing brand. What inspired you to kind of start the brand itself? Uh, my clothing company, my clothing brand, it's called the Cape Flats Native Clothing Company or Cape Flats Native Online Clothing Store on, on social media. A um, couple of things. It started when I was uh, on, at high school, opposite on high school. When I was on high school, when I was in high school, I've always wanted to own my own brand, my own clothing brand. Um, I was fortunate enough also to work at a, one of the commercial radio stations in Cape Town, and I went overseas um, via competition. We went to the States and we went to the UK. And I realized how patriotic these people are, and how faithful they are to the areas they're from and the countries they are from. And it's something we didn't have here. So I kind of put them all together. Um, I was something. I wanted something that you were really proud of, um, and I wanted to come in the new space, which was online, uh, you know, uh, online shopping, which back then people weren't too keen about. Even today, people are so uh, hesitant to get into online shopping because of, of things that happen. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how it started. It's very much a, a brand that I'm proud of because I'm proudly from Mitchell's Plain 7785. I'm proudly from the Cape Flats. And what other name than Cape Flats Native Clothing Company? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, what is the main message that you actually wanted to portray with, with the brand? Like, was there a main theme or, or message in there? The main message I think people um, can take from my brand is to be proud of who you are, to be proud of the area you are from. I think um, as we grow older and as things evolve and change, we kind of uh, aren't as proud as we used to be, you know, uh, from the areas we are from. A lot of us move out. So it's a, it's a successful and, you, you know, you move towns and you live into, move into a better area and stuff. But at the end of the day, for me, for example, Woodlands and Mitchell's Plain and the Cape Flats, was my 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 grounds that was where i grew up that was where i learned life lessons and um more than anything it's just about being proud of who you are and being proud of the area you're from and saying that out loudly you know i do lots of talks with kids over the years and the one thing i've always stand for is safety means it's a company k flats and let them know you are from there so yeah and what would you say was some of the challenges um, that you faced as an entrepreneur? Because um, you, you're putting yourself out there and everyone has challenges. So what were some of the, the most challenging things for you? Man, challenges, there's obviously there's always going to be a few. And especially now with COVID, um, since COVID hit, you know, sales have been down. Um, I've got an assistant, you know, who needs to get paid. I need to buy in material and clothing and pay factory workers and uh, embroiderers and printers and stuff like that. So you've constantly got to change your game plan. Um, it's not been as rosy as it, as it was when we started. And it's understandable because the, the economy, um, not just in South Africa, but in the whole world, everybody is struggling. So I think that has been one of the challenges. The other challenge that I think we are an online clothing store. I think not a lot of people are used to buying things online for whichever reason some people don't trust. Um, the online space because you know they can maybe hack into your account or whatever um, but more than that some people have never just tried it they've ne never given it a try so I think that is probably the for me was the biggest um, kind of setbacks um, where the company is, uh, is concerned and to constantly come up with new ideas you know you, you've got to constantly come up with a new idea because we try different things and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so I think experimenting um, could also be a positive and a negative but definitely COVID has Definitely, I mean, everybody knows that um, hits everybody for a six, and uh, we're still trying to recover. So, yeah. Listen, Bay, do tell me f um, with brands like Funny Cup, Moving Forward, etc., how do you make sure that you kind of put yourself out there and, and brand yourself better or just make people more aware um, of you and what makes you different? Because there's a lot of people who's actually 
starting clothing brands now or just taking a logo and slapping it on a t-shirt and things like that. So what would you say gives you that advantage or gives you that differentiation point? Uh, funny story about Fari Cup. So once I was at a clothing expo in Cape Town and you know, many people normally come to your store and they check out stuff and then I give you a certain amount of time because those who don't want will just move on. Those who stay for a bit longer, I then get up, I'm like, hey, you know, these cost 180 and these cost 280 and these cost whatever. And I had this full on conversation with this client and eventually um, I asked, are you, do you have a store? And he says, yes. So I'm like, which one? He says, no, that one over there was Fanny Cup. So, so you and I have actually been friends for many years now. We kind of share uh, like concepts and ideas and we chat to each other about our trouble, our troubles and tribulations every now and then if we, if we know, if we are on WhatsApp. Um, how does our brand stand out compared to others? Uh, it's a difficult question to answer, I think, but I can give you an answer. I think, first of all, before I, I answer, I was going to say, big up to everybody who's trying their luck at their own brand. It's not easy. I can tell you now it's not easy. If you've got 20,000 you know, uh, people on your Facebook page, it doesn't mean you're going to sell 20,000 caps or T-shirts or hoodies or jackets or whatever. Um, you know, even, even if you're famous and you've got all these followers, it doesn't necessarily equal, equal money. So big ups to you. Keep on pushing if you can. But again, it is not easy. Anyway, back to how I will stand out. I think over the years, I have um, I've tested it. I have asked many people who buy all these local brands what makes ours different and 10 times out of 10 they will always say our brand and our quality so uh we see ourselves as a as a as a sort of a middle to upper uh, level brand um our quality is amazing our quality is a nice soft touch feel strengthening stuff or, or, or things that last very long i mean one of my one of the ladies that i met said to me she bought t-shirts from everybody and she bought a t-shirt from a certain company after the second wash it was a black t-shirt the color was fading with ours she had it for six months and it was still exactly the same you know ah. <laughs> so the touch and quality definitely um our quality of our materials of our caps our t-shirts our gilets or or body warmers our jackets and everything else i think definitely that that could be my answer the short version is that's the answer it's definitely the quality of our of our, of our goods tell me <laughs> Yeah, tell me where can people um, actually go ahead and purchase? I know it's online, but is is the physical store? What's what's the whole thing with actually going to purchase um, from you guys? Um, they can purchase at www.capeflatsnative.co.za. It's capeflatsnative.co.za. You can actually buy online. But I would suggest you'd rather email just to check if we have these things in stock or if you want us to make a special um, design for you, etc. So our email address is Cape Flats Native, it's CFN, which stands for Cape Flats Native. So it's CFN streetwear at gmail.com, CFN streetwear at gmail.com. And they've also got a WhatsApp number and our, our biggest following is, uh, we're on Instagram and everywhere else, but our biggest following is on Facebook. So please go and check it out there, Cape Flats Native online clothing store on Facebook. You get all the information you need there. Um, I just also want to add that we are not just a clothing brand that sells t-shirts and caps and things to you. We also change it to the way you want. You can tell me I want a yellow hoodie with a silver gray, you know, embroidery or print. And I just want Cape Flats Native. I don't want 7785 as an example, you know, big size or small sizes. And the other thing we also do is we do corporate uh, uh, um, clothing. So if you're a small to medium sized enterprise, if you've got a car wash or or you're in a little office and it's eight of you or ten of you, we can arrange, you know, we'll give you a quote for caps, t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, whatever the case may be, and then you can see if you want to use us or not. So yeah, anyway, so back to our, our, our contact details. We are Facebook, Cape Flats Native uh, Clothing, uh, online clothing store, Cape Flats Native online clothing store, or you can email us, cfnstreetwear at gmail.com. Okay, listen, man. Tell us, are there any new designs that's coming out, inspirations, anything we can look forward to from you guys? Uh, new designs, we are busy working on a couple. We are trying to diversify. We're trying to come up with new things. But like I said earlier, it's been really, really tough. Uh, you've got to come up with something that suits your market. Um, we, from the beginning or from the onset, we didn't want to be too loud, you know, too loud in your face, big, bold, sprinted stuff and swear words and whatever we wanted we wanted our clientele to be comfortable wearing it to be comfortable to let people know you are from the cape flats or cape town or joba good durban or pe or Kabeha or east london or wherever pretoria uh um but it should also look okay like it should almost look like i can wear this with a liquor shoe 
and I can wear this with a like a skirt and I can wear this with a like a jeans and I can wear it with a cap and a t-shirt you know what I mean so um, definitely uh, are working on new designs so you gotta check out our Facebook page for more or go to our website which is capefastnation.co.za <laughs> All right, so Pedro, what we're going to do now is we're going to play some Would You Rather before we go to an ad break. Okay, so I hope you're all ready for this. Okay, so here we go. Number one, would you rather go without shampoo for the rest of your life or without toothpaste for the rest of your life? Okay, would I rather go without shampoo or toothpaste? Answer is shampoo. I don't need shampoo. I don't need shampoo, but toothpaste I do need. So my answer is definitely I'll go without shampoo. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, number two, would you rather speak in rhymes for the rest of your life or in riddles for the rest of your life? Rhymes or riddles? Definitely rhymes. I fancy myself as a bit of a rapper. <laughs> Um, but yeah, because I'm a hot mag rapper on social media and I have done a couple of songs. I've actually got a song playing on national radio, especially community radio stations called Bulag, Afrikaans rapper. So definitely rhymes. Definitely rhymes. <laughs> That's what I see. I see the exact same thing. It's, I think there's, there's, there's correlation. I don't know what it means, but I just feel like there's correlation. Number three, would you rather listen to an annoying laugh for the rest of your life or be tickled for an hour? Yo, tough one. It's like laugh. Laugh. Don't ask me, to, why are you asking me these tough questions, bro? <laughs> Tickle or annoying laugh? Nah, man. Well, all right, it's like annoying laugh. <laughs> okay, we, we have two more. Number four, would you rather be Ant-Man or the Hulk? Sure. No, man. Where do you come with these questions? <laughs> um, Ant-Man or Hulk? I think I'll be Ant-Man. Yeah. Ant-Man. Ant-Man and Wood. I'll be Ant-Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's interesting, considering, you know, everything. <laughs> Not going to say what, but considering it. And then our last one is, this is the million dollar question. Mr. Bader Adams, would you slap your mom for one million US dollars? Holy hard is that? <laughs> Did I slap my mother for a million dollars? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm playing, mommy, I'm playing, I'm playing. No, no, I can't put my mouth like this. Mom, I've got the biggest respect for my parents. <laughs> no, I would not slap my mother for a million dollars. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Honestly, I knew it. I could feel it before the time. I could feel it before the time. Listen, Baidu, thank you so much for uh, taking the time out all the way from Kabecha. And um, joining us and chatting to us, man, it's such a huge inspiration for people like us to be chatting to people like you who's out there and putting themselves out there. Uh, Baidu Adams Cape Flats native clothing line. Um, if you do want to purchase anything from them or just check out the social media pages, uh, it is going to be displayed on your screen and it will be on our social media pages as well. So make sure you check it out there. Other than that, we're going to take a quick air break. When we come back, as See you now. Boom! Welcome back from the ad break. If you just joined us now, you missed an amazing interview with Beidou Adams from the Cape Flats Native Clothing Line. And we do want to thank him for using some of his data. I think he had to borrow data for that, I'm not sure. But we do want to thank him for doing that and allowing us that. Now, this is the part of the show where we give you some comedy. And this time I felt like I wanted you guys to see some of my comedy. So that is exactly what is actually happening on the show today. This recording has been taken from my show, Lavish, that has been recorded at the Grand West Arena. Make sure you tag us on our social media pages to let us know what you do think of the show. And if you did just join us now and you miss Vaidu Adams from Cape Flats Native, miss this interview, go on to our YouTube page and there you can subscribe and you can actually re-watch it. But other than that, otherwise, rather, let's get some comedy. Let me just get that tape so you can see. Let me get that tape. In fact, there's nothing sexy about going to the beach for me. Really, that's what I feel like. Because people have been trying to make their visit to the beach in sexy for years. As not. You see them on the Instagram and Facebook. Ooh, loving my peace life. 
Hashtag summer boy. That's not summer boy. It's a greater man. As I zoom back, I come and behind. I come behind. As the day is not the sexy was it for me. And that's all that people do on social media these days. They post for you to see that they live a lavish life. That is what it's about. You see them. Hashtag loving lavish. But you know, you're scalper, darling. Jai love lavish me, Mr. Price. Please get it right. And there's a saying that goes if it's not posted on Instagram or Facebook, then it never happened. And I agree with that. I agree because we basically spend thousands of rands going on holidays just to post a picture and it was like, what? If we didn't get a hundred likes, we get cross, we get angry. Because you take that picture with a mentality deep. I said, I don't know how the girls post. I know that you don't want touch the floor. I said, I don't know. The floor is love. But you take that pic. With a mentality deep. It's not all that much. What the hell is deep? So you take that pic with that mentality and if your picture does not get a hundred likes, woo! Jay squat for the yellow Facebook because they have cocker pictures than you. But I like it, I know that likes. Jay is Maxi. So you get upset and you spend the whole day checking your notification to see if someone liked the black picture. And Jay squat. For I'm over the other likes than you, we just come in the outfit. Okay, teammate. So it says, Rona and I'm not so that half of us may not know the rules, but say, Cray, oh, the likes. What? Ooh, big baby. Three on the likes, but he find a skiff. You cross. They don't have JT likes it. I am. Can we have a nail tick? <laughs> Three hundred likes for Kerry Nile. Hello, how do we know the ones for Nile? That's a real surprise. Jesus Christ! What's going on? And there's how we. That is how people's head start, you know? Their head start like that. Because they're not happy with the image that they portray to the world. Now they come all the way onto your profile and start like, Nah, Suga! Suga! Go, Judas! We don't want you here! That is how their head starts. And that is the same people that comes onto your Facebook that type in a Hruata that use the Lord's name to guilt trip you into liking and sharing their post. That type in a Hruat. If you like and share this post, the Lord will bless you tomorrow. <laughs> the Lord has been blessing me every day. When you want my over and tell him, I like and share your post, the Lord will bless me. The Lord has been blessing people way before Facebook. <laughs> that my little doesn't and only Satan's people scroll on. <laughs> this Facebook is the devil. Because all that you see is an old and bitter anyways. He does not into temptation, but he loves us so he loves. Social media will drive you crazy, will drive you nuts. But I'm also mine, so see me a little kid. But I'm social media, I see. Because everyone now wants to be influencers and content creators. Jai kan hier so kooi op maak en die oog in die bad, jai wil content create. Create jou kooi op. And we all secretly try to be a content creator. Maar jai die lead time met jou. And then we have friends. They believe they need to become content creators. Jere wat die content is so doe. Some of you can't laugh because laugh now because they're sitting next to you. Shame. Laugh, laugh.
Yes, people, that was some of what the work I do, some of the comedy, some of the things that uh, we recorded in Grand West Arena. The show is called Lavish. And yeah, that is me sharing some of the comedy with you guys at home. And unfortunately, with that, we did come to the end of our show. So I do want to send a huge, huge thank you to Baidu Adam from the Cape Flat Native for joining us online and using some of his data. And thank you to you guys at home for tuning in religiously and sending us fantastic messages on our social media pages. We do love you and we do love to see it. That is all the things that we do on Coffee and Comedy. Otherwise, we had so much fun. I had so much fun. Last week we spoke to JP. This week we spoke to Peidu. Next week we're going to bring a surprise guest in for you as well. So do make sure you come join us next week. Same time, same place. Remember, if you do want to catch us on our social media pages, you can go onto our Facebook page. We are Coffee and Comedy with Resolve Forms. On Instagram, we are at Coffee underscore comedy and you can send us a little email as well coffee dash and dash comedy at cape town tv dot org if you did not yet subscribe to our youtube channel do subscribe there click the subscribe button all of those things that's on there other than that we out we love you have a little weekend safe <laughs>